I think we're running. What's up, guys? Back at it again. I'm about to go see the uh, Civil War movie, so I'm getting ready, right? Got my suspenders on and shit like that. I got my little tiki vintage shirt, you know, in the dryer, making sure all the wrinkles out. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a quick review, hopefully. Probably not. You know how it goes. Uh, take out the jewelry first. So I'm hyped for that Captain America movie, yo. Hyped. Ooh, it's gonna be on and popping. I even went and out of my way and grabbed some of the luxury theater seats and shit. Be awesome. All right, Grizzly Grease, Grizzly Grizzly Grease. Here's the artwork. It looks pretty cool, you know. And uh, it came in this plastic container. Now, when I first saw it in the mail and I got it, I saw this and I was like, "Damn it, it's a it's a water based." The guy didn't say it was water based and. I always assume so because of the can. You know, if it's not in a metal tin or something like that, these always come with the water base. However, it's not. It's oil based. It says uh, oil based pomade firm hold. I'm going to read the description for you guys because I like it. Um, or the direction, sorry. It says scoop a little from the jar, rub into palms until it becomes soft. Apply the hair and comb through until every. Oh, okay. Evenly spread into the hair. It's kind of very small, faded writing here. Comb and style as desired. It's palm made. It's oil based and it's difficult to remove from the hair with one wash. This is my favorite part. This is why I'm reading this. Apparently, awesome is hard to get rid of. Man, you damn right, awesome is hard to get rid of. It's got a big red gum, you know, cinnamon, the, the gum tip. My lady likes it. I saw actually, I got like a little bit in here right now, which is why it's, you know, it's, you can see my waves. Thick wavy hair. Um, so this has got petroleum, olive oil, mineral oil, beeswax, and natural fragrance. It smells good to me, guys. So let's get at it. it. Looks like Murray's. It's thicker than it though, especially since they reformulated their shit. All right, so I'm gonna do a pump. I'm gonna put a lot in here. So <clears throat> let's go. I do love the smell, you know, and I know that. Uh, I've been in a scenario with different pomades in my hair, like the High Life Voodoo Brew. Uh, I remember I used to, at some point in my life, wash dishes in the back of a Denny's, right? But now there's a lot of steam and smells going through the kitchen and, and the back area. And I was washing dishes. I got an apron on. I got the steam blowing in my face. I'm busting my ass. And one of the waitresses comes through the back, walks through, and stops. And comes back to the door and is like, You want smell coconut? What is that? You got coconut back here? What are you eating? I'm like, girl, that's my hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So this is just a smell, uh, just strong. So I'm hoping that, you know, if you don't like cinnamon, I don't care. I don't care for the scent either, but it smells good to me, you know. Even though I don't, like, I'm not always headed towards the scent of cinnamon, it smells good to me. All right, so that's like, I don't know, two. I'm taking little small dabs at a time because if I do one big glop, it's harder to blend in than smaller little scoops. But I am putting quite a few. I've used this thing about once before. As you can see, it is thick stuff. Oh, I should talk about application and whatnot. Just trying to get it all in my hair first before I start styling because that's when I talk to you guys the most. But let's get this out of the way. So it scoops out, kind of sticky, waxy-ish, you know, of course. Uh, it does have a texture like Murray's. It looks like Murray's. There's no color to it, no additive color, and it kind of just goes like a thick butter in your hands. Uh, it's not as sticky as some pomades are, so that's good. But it has been a bit, and it doesn't come out of my hair as easily, which in my opinion, is badass. I like it. I like pomade that stays in your hair because, damn it, that's what it's supposed to do. All right, so we're getting very thoroughly into all these places. Let me do the gallito real quick. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, this brought into my attention that some of the higher, not higher end, I want to say higher selling, you know, like the wholesale type of people, like, Dax or Murray's or 
you know, High Life or so I don't know, you know, they just like the bigger names. Uh, they have to go by California regulations, you know, state regulations, at least over here because I'm in California. So, I mean, yeah, some of their formulas have changed to fit the standards, but home brewers aren't going by standards, at least not that, I lo that I've looked into or anything like that, but just my guess, they don't have the restrictions that these guys do, so I don't think it's their fault, you know? I will be doing a Dax follow-up. Um, I only have their Heavy and their Voodoo Brew, so one of those. All right, it's thick in my hair, guys. As you can see, my fuzzies are growing out. Still haven't decided whether I want to do the uh, grow them out or sh back to like a one. So I'm letting you guys decide that, by the way. Let me know. All right, it's in there. I've got two combs, one with the, all of the same size teeth. This one with, obviously, the separated one. I'm just going to comb it back real quick. See if I missed any spots in the shit. All right. It is thick. There is a tug and a pull. Obviously, probably going to depend on your hair style. My hair is thick. Thick, thick, thick. I kind of can't stress how thick it is. Thick and wavy. All right, so. There you go. Check out the sheen. It's not a high sheen. I would say this is like a, a low sheen type of stuff, but it's not a matte finish, which is still good. All right. Uh, I still need a lot of grease. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. So how many? I fucking lost count. Um, adding some more grease to this part here. All right, so guys, another thing. Yes, I do use a lot of grease. I understand that. I see that myself every time. I see it in the paycheck when it, when I spend money on grease, and I'm like, why do I need so much? because I figured it out I went to the drawing board I did a few mathematical formulas no I didn't you know I found a square root of pi no I didn't and I came to the conclusion that it's because I do a buildup in my hair the first time I do my hair you get what I'm saying a lot of people will put a little bit in they'll style it up looks good boom gotta go and they're hitting the road and they refer to it as multiple days of doing this after you know washing your hair and whatnot as a buildup. Now when I put the wax or any kind of grease in my hair, I just you know I put it all in because I want it all to be covered. This is what a buildup is doing. It is getting your whole head filled with grease more and more you go along. It's making it thicker, there's more product in it as you keep going. My first time doing hair is like building up. I do pre build up, you know? That way I don't have to keep adding grease every day. Thoughts, opinions, comments? Just pro. Let me know what you think. All right, so there was a tad bit of a build up before I put this shit in my hair. So, yes. But. Like I said, I do add a lot of grease. Damn it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's rush this. So I'm going to go into the middle like I'm doing a mohawk or something like that. That's been my usual style as of lately. And I think why I do that is because it goes against the natural flow of the hair. How my hair just usually goes backwards and whatnot or ways as you can see there I'm not gonna have fun with this hairstyle I really need to get the appropriate brushes as well or a well, little comb okay now do this right here what I'm doing is I'm keeping the hair kind of flat on the top while I'm pulling out with the comb this is so uh, what is this see this and it's gonna stay there too because I don't got time Whatever. That's what you call. That's what you call. What is that fucking movie? Crybaby. The little crybaby hairs. Whatever. Get out of the way. Okay, so boom. I don't know how it happened or there. It's not perfect, guys. I mean, maybe one of these days I won't be a human being. And I will dedicate all this time to doing my hair for you guys. But 
I'm a working man. You're all working men and ladies, working ladies too, I'm sure. And I do my hair in a jiffy. Sometimes I'm late. Sometimes I got time. Either way, my hair looks good. All right, so you can come back. Whatever. It is getting more and more difficult to style the hair. With the the heavier the grease is, the thicker the hair, the harder it is to get reach the middle of my head. So inside of the pump, I'm sure is all black holeish and just somebody could get killed in there. I'm sure. All right, so look, it is thick, and I'm sure with more of a buildup, uh, even more of a buildup, you could do wonders with this. Uh, the scent is good. The sheen is decent. I would say six. It didn't catch all of my stray hairs in one go. However, it is a good, I would say one of my more likely to buy again greases. However, I've got so much that I'm probably not gonna buy anything recently. Um, this is Grizzly Grease. Guys, one, one more time. The artwork is cool. It's got like those crossbones with a, I'm assuming it's some kind of bear skull with a pompadour. And yeah, it's all right, it's cool, I like it. <clears throat> Ooh. Sweating up a storm here. Alright, so look at that. Look at that. You see that? <clears throat> now the sides kill the whole thing. It does, honestly, in my opinion. So please hop on that guys. Let me know what I should do. Otherwise, I'm just gonna cut it again. Summer's coming up. You know what? There you go. Summer's coming up. I'm just going to cut my hair. Which is the size. Anyway, we got the top. We know that. Alright. So, final thoughts. Uh, texture is like Murray's. Scent is good. If you like cinnamon, of course. If you don't like cinnamon, don't go with it. If you can't stand cinnamon, stay the hell away from it. I like the artwork. I like the little apparently awesome it's hard to get rid of thing. That's cool too. Not sure if it's American made. Yeah, Texas. Katy, Texas. You can find it at IamGrizzly.com. It's four ounces. Comes in what looks like a water-based tin. Sheen, I would say five out of ten. Hold, seven. Because, look, it didn't tame my waves. This is what I mean by really thick and wavy hair, guys. You know, if, you're, if I'm going to stress over it, I would put more grease in and more grease in. And I would probably melt it down with a with a blow dryer because you know I want it to melt in there and I'd rub my hair and I'd make sure I'd go front, I'd go back, I'd go left and right to make sure I got everything, you know. That way I could purely mold my hair with a handle comb, the thick like Conair handle combs, or one of those brushes you see the guys have. You know, but I don't have that right now. But hey, I mean nobody's gonna say, dude, your hair looks like shit. Except for the fuzzies, and I wouldn't blame them. But, uh, there you go, guys. I'm trying to get the little hair reflection for you guys in there. Also, just want to put it out there for you guys. You guys know I don't get paid for this, right? So, this is all unbiased stuff. No, I don't go around asking for samples. I buy all my grease when I can, you know, as often as I can, which ain't all the time. Anyways... I'm going to put in the description where the styling ends, and then you guys can just, you feel me? I'm off to go see a movie, guys, Pomp Hard. My name is Dapa. I'm a greasy bastard, man.